So in this video, we are going to be look, talking about food safety and hygiene courses with certificates. So um, these courses you are going to be looking at are ideal for those that want to work as a, a food hygiene officer, if you are a chef, if you own a restaurant, or probably you work in an hotel or in a food processing plant, you are a nutritionist, or you are a get caregiver, you know, and you, your work is related in, uh, it's, uh, with food. You know, food is a very uh, serious thing that you, uh, employers take serious. So if you are to work in any of those things and um, knowledge of what you are going to be learning in this course coupled with the certificate will definitely give you an edge. Employers want to be sure that they are employing safe hands You know, when it comes to uh, food safety and hygiene. So what are some of those courses that you can take right now that apart from the certificate, you know, it's going to also give you some information and knowledge about food safety and hygiene because um, if you look at this the profession or the field of food safety and hygiene is not a very saturated uh, profession you understand so so these are the courses that what are the courses that you can take that will you know, give you an edge over every other person either in the, in the food in the, if you are a food um, hygiene officer a chef a nutritionist or you work in any organization and you are handling you know food and um, consumables generally items that you know people are uh, consuming so um so the first course we are going to be looking at is this diploma in food safety so don't worry all of the courses i'm going to be sharing with you in this video i'm going to leave a link to them in the description i'm also going to be sharing with you the resources where you can also take your time to pick the course that best fits your needs exactly so apart from one and i'm going to be sharing with you too, because i'm just going to be sharing with you maybe two or three courses so i'm also going to leave a link where you can also take your time to go through all the list of available courses that has to do with food hygiene so you can pick the one that best suits you all right so let's get started now this is the, this is the first one i'm going to be sharing with you um, diploma in food safety that's ensure proper uh, staff hygiene and uh, first prevention with the food safety practices taught in this free online uh, course now if you look at this course it has about eighty thousand learners enrolled so far with over 500 um, thumbs up now, if you look at it, it's a 15 to 20 hours of learning. So that's a, a, um, it's a very long one. And 20 hours is not that long anyway, but uh, for you, if it is long, uh, it's actually what is Because if you look at the course uh, module, it's about, um, it's about 12 modules. And each of those modules have uh, uh, other parts uh, other parts under it. So personal ID 1, part 1, part 2, part 3, water quality. You know, it's a very, very... Um, uh, detailed course, especially this first one, Diploma in Food Safety. So it's also ideal, like I said, if you're looking forward to work as a, a food hygiene officer, a chef, or in anywhere where, uh, in any organization or in any business where uh, they are dealing with food, you know, and they, and they take hygiene very seriously. So this course will really, really give you all of the information, if not all, but a good um, knowledge of all you need to know as regard to uh, food safety. You can see, um, so food service accidents, the uh, the roles of management in food safety industry, uh, let's just scroll, personal cleanliness and health in the food uh, service industry. So so this is the first one I'm going to be um, sharing with you, Diploma in Food Safety. So I'll leave a link to this particular course in the description um, of, this, of this video. So now let's look at the second one, is a Diploma in Occupational Safety. So learn the best practices for ensuring of, uh, Okay, Diploma in Occupational Hygiene, sorry. Diploma in Occupational Hygiene says, learn the best practices for ensuring occupational hygiene in the workplace and community in this free, um, in this free health course. So apart from, um, the, uh, from food alone, you're also going to be looking, at, you can might be looking at the that of the occupational um, hygiene. This is a 6 to 10 hours course. So introduction to human physiology and industrial disease, um, introduction to toxicology, um, controlling risks to health, you know, so this is not only limited to food anyway for this particular course, so occupational hygiene. So, so if this course interests you also, you can also uh, consider enrolling in this course. It's just um, a 10 hours, 10 hours course. All right, so let's move to the, um, to the third one. So the third course I'm going to be sharing with you is, um, is this particular course. I, ISO um, 2018 Food Safety Management System. Now, if you look at this course, it's, uh, the course was recently updated and it's the best seller under food, one of the best seller under food safety on, uh, on Udemy with over almost a thousand reviews. So this is actually a paid course. 
um, so many hours, it's about five hours. Because if you look, okay, four hours, 52 minutes, almost five hours. And this is the course content for this particular, uh, for the particular course. And if you look at the, so what you learn, you say what is food safety, what are the requirements of ISO uh, 2018, what are the principles of HACCP, and how to develop and manage the food safety system, uh, PRPS, PR, uh, PRPs for food manufacturing as per ISO and TS. So now this is very ideal if you are looking forward to work as a food hygiene officer or you are working or you want to work in a food uh, processing um, plant or in, an comp in a company that you know manufacture food items, consumable food items. So, so this is one course you also want to consider. Now apart from the three that I've just shared with you, like I said, I'm not going to be sharing more uh, too many course because I, I see this um, food safety, um, the field of food safety as one that is kind of like wide, even though it's not too saturated, you know, you have to be specific with what you want to, um, you have to take a course that actually fits uh, whatever you want to do as regards to food safety. So once you come on this on this page, you can also scroll down and look at other, um, other courses that is related to food safety. Or better still, once you are here, you can just um, check the page on food safety itself. So, so you can check out some of the other course. You can see this is an um, HACCP uh, foundation course. It's an accredited course, uh, food safety, HACCP hazard analysis. So you can just take your time to look at some of this, these courses based on. So just make sure that you check their reviews and you check the I mean, how long the video is. Sometimes, even though the hours is not a justification, but it also plays a, um, a role when you are uh, picking a course, especially when it comes to Udemy. And then, so you can just, I'll leave a link to this page also, food safety courses. So you can also take your time to look at it. You can also look at it based on the, um, on this category here. To see the one that best fits your need. You know, if it's that of cooking, farming, hotel managing, uh, management, and, um, and the like. So, you, for example, the hotel management, if ideally, if you are looking forward to work as a chef in an hotel, so what are some of the things you need to take note as regards to food safety? So you see courses that uh, best fit your needs. And, and in this kind of um, industry, as a food um, hygiene officer, your certificate will be a plus for you having the uh, knowledge and the certificate you know, to give you a good because employers want to be sure that they are employing safe hands. So that's the essence of some of this, of you taking this course and earning the certification. And don't forget, the information is also very key. And apart from working for, with um, maybe in a food processing plant in an hotel, you know, also if you are looking forward to work as a caregiver or, or um, as a support worker, you know, as an home care, home care worker, uh, knowledge of food safety, or even a nutritionist of food safety and hygiene will play a great role. So I'll be leaving a link to all of some of the courses I shared and the resources itself where you can also take your time to look at course that best uh, fits your, your needs as regards to food safety and hygiene. So, so that is it in this particular video. If you have any questions for me, you can leave them in the comment section below. And, um, and i also leave a link to all of the courses and the resources that I shared in this video. So that will be all for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new here, please consider clicking on that subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And with that, I will see you all in another video. Thank you.